Thank you very much. Julie and I are proud to get to show you today a combination of some of the best hardware and software that's ever been made. You're going to see all the things that Stephen was talking about. You're going to see Windows 8, a great bunch of new hardware, the grand opening of the apps, and the new world of Windows RT. We're going to start by showing Windows 8 on some Windows 7 PCs that we've upgraded. Now, Julie, the tablet you're going to use, that's the Windows 7 tablet that you've been using to demo all year. Right. This one is from Samsung. I've been using it most of the year to show demo. And here's the beautiful Seattle skyline. I swipe to go in. I have my fun new way to password protect my PC. I'm just going to log in really quickly with a picture of my kids. And we get right to the beautiful Windows 8 desktop. I can see all the things that I want to start and use. And Windows 8 is really easy. Everything you need is right under your thumbs. Right here, all the important things that you want to go do at any point in time is just right there. And Windows 8 is fun, too. Here I am flipping through all the apps. Just right there under my thumb. And we know that when you're having fun, you're more likely to want to go and explore and maybe try the other edges, too. Just like that. Let's talk about this screen for a second. I'm going to drive on there, Mike. Sure. So this is my desktop. And what, everything on here is mine. The apps that I use all the time, the friends that I connect to, that I want to stay connected to, the web pages that I use. And it's all alive with activity, updating with feeds and things that are happening in my life. And so at a glance, I can see everything that I, is important to me. And so, Mike, are you rearranging my personal PC? Yeah, sorry about that, Julie. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and change the lock screen and uh, maybe the background, too? Sure. I'm going to go into settings here, and I'm going to show you how just changing a couple of settings can change the sort of the personality of the PC. So here for the lock screen, I'm going to go to pick a picture. And something that's neat is that you can get a picture from any one of the apps you have installed that makes pictures, or in this case, just something from your library. So I'll pick a picture. It looks like from a vacation. I'll go to the start screen. I'll pick a different background color and a background picture. And you can see with just a couple of clicks, it sort of changed the way it feels. Great. Thanks, Mike. And Windows 8 comes with everything you need right out of the box. There's mail, calendar, photos, and a great touch browser in Internet Explorer 10. So here's Mike. He's got all 10 of his fingers on the screen. Look how smooth and beautiful that is right inside the browser. It's going to enable a whole new class of web pages to get built. Here he is in one of those web pages, flipping with his finger, just naturally using the tablet to browse the internet. We also have the newly launched Xbox Music and Video Service. And this provides free streaming to all Windows 8 customers. And there's over 30 million songs in the library. And Xbox Video, super fast streaming. You can use your own collection. You can rent, buy any kind of movie or television that you want. It's a really great upgrade for all Windows 7 PCs. And it is a great upgrade for all PCs. We showed it here on this tablet. Next, I'm going to show Windows 8 on my upgraded Ultrabook. Now, this is a Lenovo that I use at work. It's a ThinkPad Carbon X1. Super thin, super fast PC, Windows 7 PC. But when I installed Windows 8 on it, when I installed Windows 8 on it, this PC boots 33% faster. Right. It uses 42% less memory, <laughs> i.e. IE 10 boots 45% faster. All of that just for putting the upgrade on the PC. On now, a Windows 7 PC. On a Windows 7 PC. Now, this doesn't have a touch screen. I can still navigate around Windows. You see on that, in, in the zoom there, you can see I'm moving the tiles just by moving the trackpad. If I swipe from the right edge, you can see how the charms come out, just like when you were swiping on the edge of the PC. In fact, I can even zoom in and out, just like you were doing. So I can get around Windows, I can use all of the new stuff, and my PC just gets better. Of course, the fastest way to get to an app for me is just type, boom, and I'm in one of the new apps. So Mike, why don't you bring up the desktop, and we'll talk about that for a minute, too, because sure. we've made the desktop in Windows 8 even better than it was in Windows 7. All the things that you know how to do, all the apps that you use are all still here and work exactly the same way. And we showed you both how to access you can get to start with the mouse and with under your thumb, but we've also added a shortcut to the bottom left-hand corner, right where start has always been, to make it easy for you to get back there. I just point the mouse in the corner and I get start, and start in Windows 8 is even better because I can just zoom up, 
I'm now up and I see all of the running apps. And for power users, I can right click and get to a list of all the system tools that you're used to using. I can click right here, for example, and get to the file explorer. Great. Files copy faster, the UI is cleaner. But importantly, when I'm getting work done, here's um, Excel, for example. It works just like the Windows desktop I'm used to. Excel 2013. That, that is. This is the new Excel 2013. Two weeks. It's just yep. been out for two weeks. Um, I can side by side run the desktop and those new apps. I can run these apps together at the same time. So you can see my desktop can be made smaller and I get icons, or I can make it bigger. I can come over here and like save a file to SkyDrive. Notice my SkyDrive shows up right in that list. This is the same SkyDrive that uses your Microsoft account to um, store all of that stuff that Stephen was talking about your mail, your calendar, your contacts, your files, and your photos. It's all synced up across this PC. Right. It also includes your social feeds, your Xbox games, music, video, and not just on that PC, across all your Windows devices, including your Windows Phone 8. So we have a couple of these new Windows phones. These are, these are brand new. They're just announced this month. Next month, you're going to see a whole new wave of innovative hardware coming. Phones, PCs, they're going to be coming to market. It's going to be the biggest wave ever. You know, three years ago, three years ago, almost to the almost day, to I think day. almost to the day, three years ago, we were launching Windows 7, and we were here in New York. I was showing off state-of-the-art PCs at the time. There was one that was just under 10 millimeters. I had one that booted in 15 seconds. Right. That was like, that was a big deal. I had a PC that was running the brand new Core i7, the first generation. Three years later, these PCs that were designed and built for Windows 8, they're thinner. They boot in half the time. They, in some cases, weigh one-third the weight. And with the third-generation core processors, for media and gaming, these PCs are up to three times faster. So I have a couple examples here. These are a couple of favorites of mine. Yeah, these are really the best PCs that have ever been made. Thank you. Sure. Uh, there are over a thousand systems that are already certified for Windows 8, and you're sure to find one that you're really going to love. Well, let's start by showing this Lenovo tablet. Lenovo has just announced this excellent tablet. This is running Windows 8 Pro. This is running on that Intel Atom processor that Stephen was talking about, Clover Trail. This processor is capable of doing connected standby. So when you put the PC to sleep, like your phone, it's staying in sync in the background. It also enables really high efficiency, 10 hours of battery mm -hmm. in a 600 gram package. Now, this is a really full featured PC. OK, here we go. Rattle them off. It's got 3G, 4G, <laughs> LTE, Wi-Fi Direct, <laughs> NFC, TPM for enterprise encryption. It's all of the things that you would expect in a full power Lenovo that's enterprise ready. In fact, this PC even has ink. So if I launch OneNote, and I pull the stylus out, uh, you have a close-up there, I actually have real ink. So all of that is built in to this Windows 8 tablet. It's come a long way since the tablet that yeah. you're uh, demoing on. Exactly. And now this one's from Acer, and I really love this PC. It's super thin and light. It's made of aluminum. It's under 2.3 pounds, fits in any of my bags. But it's also very powerful. It comes with a Core i7 processor. It has a TPM chip, so it's enterprise ready. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous device. And look how fast this resumes. So almost as fast as you open the lid, it's restored. Now, this PC is also already reconnected to Wi-Fi. In Windows 7, we made Wi-Fi reconnect a lot faster, average of 15 seconds. In Windows 8, it averages one second. And this is reconnected to the web. Well, you're tired of waiting for that. So that's <laughs> over. And the, and the screen is really, really gorgeous. It's super bright and beautiful. And it's 1080, uh, high definition. It's great. And yeah. it's got touch, too. So yeah, 1080p with touch. And once you get one PC with touch, you're going to want every PC that you have to have touch. You just can't stop touching the, your machine. Well, let's show you some more of these great PCs that are worth touching. We've got a whole set of PCs over here, PCs with AMD and Intel processors, PCs from all of our top partners. You'll see a whole wave of these touch-enabled Ultrabooks that are going to come out that are super sleek and portable. In fact, you'll be able to get a touch notebook on day one for only $4.99. 
I feel like it's a commercial here, but that's a great, great value. You can have a touch PC that starts at $499, and there's a whole range. You've got another Clover Trail design, which is super thin and light, and at the other end of the spectrum, you have the third generation Core i7. This is this, good. This is a really powerful PC. This is Dell's um, XPS 1. This was rated, I think, PC Magazine's Editor's Choice Award, high end PC. It's got USB 3 and Blu ray and all kinds, of, all kinds of space. But the beautiful thing is this 27 inch screen. This screen is 2560 by 1440 with that same full touch that we're talking about. What you're really seeing here is how the Windows experience scales across all these devices. So from the smallest tablet size screen to the large all in one, you can see so much more here in the tiles. And our partners are really taking advantage of the flexibility of Windows to provide all kinds of new and innovative designs. Here's another one from Dell over here that I want to show you. It's really cool. You press on the screen and it flips out. I can flip it down and it goes from a laptop to a tablet just like that. That's pretty cool. It's one of a whole set of convertible PCs that our partners are making that kind of embraces that no compromise PC. And these are just a couple examples of all of the categories of PCs. There'll be new tablets, new convertibles, new notebooks, new all-in-ones like this Sony, which I think is pretty cool. No wires on that. You see that before? I think it's neat. Our partners are making all kinds of new hardware because at the same time, we have the grand opening of the store. And the store will have a whole new set of apps. The Windows Store is so important. We've been working with developers for over a year. And one, that's one of the reasons that the apps and the store have doubled in just the last couple of weeks. Right, there's so many apps, and as you get more and more apps, it's going to make you love your PC anymore, uh, even more. So go shopping, go find something you love, and we're going to show you a couple. Sure. I'll start. I'll show you how easy it is. I will go and start my video. Usually while I'm watching some kind of TV or movie, I'm looking at my email at the same time. I've got my email snapped over on the side. Oh, I, I see I you sent you. me something about yep. a Wikipedia app. So watch this. I'm going to make my video smaller, but it's still playing. I don't have to put it away to go check out this app. So first I'm going to go to a web page and watch this. When I go to the Windows Store, it's going to be one click to install this app. And usually before I can even get back to my video, Wikipedia is installed. Now here's the thing. I'm going to go search and I'm going to do that by pulling up these charms. Again, you just mouse into the corner. And you were searching before. I'm going to search on the Space Needle. And so I click search, type Space Needle. And I can see in Wikipedia a page on the Space Needle. The cool thing is that search is powerful not only across the web, but across all of the apps I have installed. So if I want to see where the Space Needle is, I just click Maps. Now that app knew to put itself in the search list. So this is an example of the more apps you use, the better the system gets. But let's say I'm done with that app. I tried it. I can click on it. I can come down here to uninstall. And with one click, all of these apps are under your control. Uninstalled, it's gone. No registry or files left on the PC. So that platform is what gives you the confidence to go and try an app and see if you like it. So here's another great app, Urban Spoon. I can use it to find what I want to go do, find a movie, find, I'm sorry, find a restaurant, go see the ratings and the reviews. And the great thing about it is like Mike was saying with search, is I can go and share this right from here with any of my friends or in any to the other places that I can share. So I've shared with Tammy before. I want to tell her about this place. And just like that, Tammy is going to get a mail with Urban Spoon right to this location. There's a lot of really great apps in, already for Windows 8. Here's a travel app from Bing. And this is a gorgeous app. It has pretty. really pretty pictures, has all kinds of things. Oh, here's New York. Go and look at what's um, in New York. I'm in a panorama here. I can look at that. slowly go around and I can zoom out or zoom in and take a look at what's in there. And it makes it really great to find and keep around. So since I'm going to be in, in New York for a while, I think I will keep this around. Oops, let's go back to travel. And I'm going to pin it to my start page. Now, the biggest category of apps or most activity that's happening right now is around games. Number. Largest number of them are games. So here we are in the Games app. 
that one that I can actually sort of play. <laughs> You've been practicing this. Well, yeah, I'm not as good as my 12-year-old son, that, that's for sure. Well, what, games are a really popular points? category because Windows 8 is a great gaming platform. But when you go to the store, you'll see there's so much more. Beyond games, there are news apps, education apps, social, sports. And these apps form the basis of the rest of the Windows experience. And the cool thing is that these apps also run on Windows RT. That's the newest addition to the Windows family. Stephen was talking about Windows running on ARM chips. Well, this version, Windows RT, enables PCs that are thinner, PCs that have much longer battery life, and PCs that have that software quality that improves over time. And with Office 2013 built in and the full set of SkyDrive services, these devices are ready to go right out of the box. So let's show you these. There are five of them from Microsoft and from our partners. So this first one here is from Lenovo. It's called the Yoga. Looks like a regular laptop. It's light, it's thin, but it's got a twist. You can turn it right into a tablet. You can set it down for easy viewing. It's a very cool device. That's cool. Here, show that Samsung. I've got here the Dell XPS 10. Now, this one is a really cool combination of mobility and productivity in the same device. It's got a full-size USB port here, so it's compatible with the 420 million some odd printers, cameras, storage devices. It's got really long battery life. You mentioned Office built in. If I go to the desktop, you see the same version of Office 2013 that I was showing on my other notebook. Amazing battery life, and you can use it as a tablet or with a keyboard. And this is the Samsung Ative tab. It's really beautiful, thin, light, 12 hours of battery life. And it has these really great front-facing speakers, so it makes it really good for watching videos or doing Skype. Here are another couple. Why don't you Thank show, you. Them the, show them the ACES? Oh, this one is about the lightest, 8.3 millimeters thin. It is a great machine. It's getting a lot of really great reviews. Um, it's available from AT&T with 4G. And it has a nine-hour battery life and a keyboard that's also a battery that doubles the battery life to 18 hours. It's a great, great device. I, I, it's cool. You plug it in the keyboard. The keyboard actually charges the tablet. It's super bright and beautiful. And, of course, we've got Microsoft Surface. Microsoft Surface with its... <laughs> with its stunning clear-type screen, with its instant on and off battery life, with its innovative three millimeter thin cover that also doubles as a keyboard. Do you hear that click? That's all part of the beautiful and elegant design. It's got the integrated kickstand. Panos is gonna be showing a lot more about this PC later today. I think it makes a great addition to the rest of the PCs that our partners have built. And it runs all of the apps that you saw here today. In fact, everything that we were running runs on all these Windows PCs, RT, Windows 8, from the smallest tablet up to the biggest all-in-one. I hope you enjoyed seeing the new era of innovation from Microsoft and our partners, and thank you very much. Thank you. It's an exciting, exciting day. Windows 8, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> Windows 8, Windows RT with Office 2013 and Microsoft Surface are here. Starting tonight at 12.01 a.m., you can buy a spectacular new Windows device built by one of our partners or from Microsoft. What you have seen and heard should leave no doubt that Windows 8 shatters perceptions of what a PC now really is. We've truly reimagined Windows and kicked off a new era for Microsoft and a new era for our customers. Just look 
seriously, just stop and look at all of these gorgeous, gorgeous machines and how alive they all are with activity. You can imagine, in fact, pretty soon you can actually go by, but you can imagine what your own Windows 8 device will look like and how incredibly personal it will be. Picture your start screen filled with everything and everybody who's most important to you. The apps that you use most frequently, the websites that you love, and the people you connect with will fill your view. Live tiles will effortlessly update your start screen as things change in your world. With a glance, you'll always know what's going on in the world and with the people who, who count in your life. Windows 8 keeps you connected to all of your, so to speak, stuff in the cloud with almost no work on your part. Your Microsoft account is the key to that. The experience is really magical. You log in just once and you see your device light up with your life. Buy a new computer, it lights up with your life. You'll immediately see all of your friends from Facebook, Twitter, Gmail, LinkedIn, Outlook.com, coworkers who are on Outlook with you at work. All of your photos from Flickr, SkyDrive, Facebook will just appear. All of your documents will be available to you from SkyDrive and all of your Xbox, music, video, and games will be there. It will all be there. Everything and everybody that you really care about. Windows 8 PCs, as Steven said, Windows 8 PCs are the best PCs ever. The lineup is both diverse and stunning, and this is just a very small sample of what will be available. For the first time though, Windows also has first-rate tablets in addition to desktops and notebooks. And for the first time, some of those form factors are powered by ARM chips from Qualcomm and NVIDIA, as well as x86 chips from Intel and AMD, as well as Intel's very new and power efficient Atom processor. All of these form factors will transform what you know and experience today into something quite new and quite wonderful. These are the thinnest, the lightest, and the fastest PCs ever created. All of the improvements that we're showing today will certainly benefit the desktop and the laptop form factor. However, there's an advancement that really pushes the boundaries on what a PC is. And that, of course, is touch. Many new Windows devices are touch-enabled. Some work with a stylus, and of course, they all work great with a keyboard and a mouse. As you can see, there is a huge variety up here from you to choose from. Everybody should be able to find their perfect P PC. They're going to be very great, affordable devices, as well as spectacular high-end devices. And people will pick and choose what's important to them. With Windows 8, we brought together the best of worlds. The PC and the tablet, your work life, and play. Windows 8 will help you do everything and it will make it a lot of fun, frankly, to do nothing. One device now pairs the greatest qualities of the PC with the greatest qualities of the tablet experience. To do this, our partners have come up with incredible new designs. Are these new designs PCs? Yes. Are these new designs tablets also? Yes. Some of them flip, some of them dock, some of them convert, some of them attach. The best of PCs and tablets in one form factor. 
So what can you do with your gorgeous new Windows 8 device? Anything. It's perfect for all aspects of your life, both work and play. To really make the Windows vision, the Windows 8 vision, a reality, we knew we needed to lead the way and bring the best of Microsoft to Windows 8. And we worked hard on that and think we really did. We created Office 2013 with Windows 8 in mind. It's beautiful. It shares a similar style and clean look with the new Windows. It's designed for Windows Touch laptops and tablets, and it works great with a stylus. Individually, the new Office and Windows 8, I think, are remarkable, and together, they're really, truly magical. You're not going to find that phenomenal productivity experience on any other tablet. Windows 8 also needed a first-class search experience. So we built in Bing Search, and we designed a beautiful Bing Search application. And for people who just kind of want to browse and get a quick view of the world, we've included applications that keep you up to date on everything that's happening on the web. Right out of the box, you'll find gorgeous applications built on Bing. We call them the Bing apps. Bing News, Bing Finance, Bing Travel, Bing Maps, Bing Weather, Bing Sports. These apps combine great articles, photography, data, and short-form video from the top media brands. For example, here in the U.S., the Wall Street Journal, Fox Sports, New York Times, CNBC, and many, many others, along with everything that Bing knows about the World Wide Web. Internet Explorer 10 is here, fast, fluid, and as Stephen and Julie and Mike all had a chance to say, it is perfect for touch. And just as you can pin applications to your start screen, you can also put your favorite applications with your favorite websites on the start screen and just a touch away. I'll call one thing to your attention today particularly, because I think it's very interesting, which is the redesign that we did uh, in MSN, all for Windows 8 and IE 10. We redesigned it so it shares the same gorgeous look of Windows 8, and it is the first website, I would say, that's been fully designed to take advantage of the touch capabilities in IE 10 and will lead the way. I think it's a great example of how a website uh, can look and feel in the Windows 8 world. We also launched Outlook.com. It's a new modern email service designed to work seamlessly on the web and in Windows 8. SkyDrive will keep your photos and other documents in sync. And Windows 8 has an incredible real-time communications experience with our new Skype application. Skype on Windows 8, it's fast, it's easy, it's beautiful. It's designed to be always on, to be immersive, effortless, and easy to use. It's fun. It truly is the best Skype experience on any device. No device is complete without an entertainment experience. So we're launching the Xbox Music Service, Xbox Video, and Xbox Games with Windows 8. With Xbox Music, you create your own playlists and you stream from this global catalog of 30 million songs for free. And if you actually own an Xbox, with Xbox Smart Glass, you can pair your Windows 8 device with your Xbox console to control your living room environment. Simply select a movie from your tablet, Windows 8 tablet, and cue it to play to your television set. It gets even cooler. When you watch a movie, your Windows tablet converts into the ultimate second screen experience. It magically serves up relevant information on what you're watching, who are the actors and actresses, what other movies have he or she been in before. You don't have to do anything at all but enjoy. People are going to love the new Windows devices and all that they can do. 
One thing I'll underscore, though, is that our enterprise customers will also love the new Windows 8 devices. Windows uniquely gives them the tools they need to protect their corporate data, something that they rely on from Microsoft. Business IT departments tell us that Windows 8 will give them what they need, while at the same time giving them the ability to let their employees select the Windows devices that they really want. And we're going to continue to add to Windows 8 experience for business. Expect much more to come from Microsoft Dynamics, from Yammer, from uh, Visual Studio, from Windows Server, and from Azure. When people choose Windows 8, they can also do so knowing one other important thing. That is that there is a phone, a great phone, designed to work in a similar way as Windows, access the same services, share the same information. And that phone is Windows Phone 8. It uses live tiles to keep you connected to your world. It uses the same Microsoft account. It accesses the same content that you've stored in SkyDrive and the playlist that you created in Xbox Music. You all get to know more about the new Windows Phone 8 on Monday. We can't wait to show how we have really reinvented the smartphone around you. Developers around the world are facing a time of unprecedented opportunity with the grand opening today of the Windows Store. As Stephen said, there are 670 million Windows PCs just waiting to be upgraded to Windows 8. That is a very large number, even in the world of large numbers in this industry. Additionally, in the next year, and also forecast sales of another 400 million new PCs most of which will run Windows 8. As I travel the world, I see developers who are very enthused about this opportunity. For the first time, all of our Windows 8 users will be able to directly access new applications like the ones that we've talked about from Urban Spoon and Hulu and others. Developers are working fast and furiously to stock the shelves of our new store with great apps for the hundreds and millions of people who will get new win Windows devices just in the next year. Developers love how the same app will run on chipsets that power all of these form factors, including tablets, desktops, and laptops. And they love the developer-friendly terms of the Windows Store. All of this points to a growing number of great new experiences and applications on these new wonderful Windows devices. We've grown very fond of this term, way, and you're certainly going to hear it in our, our ads. Uh, it's a bold and innovative set of work that we've done in Windows 8, and I think that phrase, Windows Reimagine, really captures what our team set out to do with Windows 8. Windows 8 PCs really are the best PCs ever. Just look at the stunning lineup available today. They're all personal. They're all alive with activity. Most importantly for today, Windows 8 does bring together the best of the worlds. PC, tablet, work, and play. You will absolutely not love the new Windows, but you're not going to take my word for it. And I encourage you, head out to a retail store. Check them out online. In the case of Windows 8, seeing, touching, clicking, and swiping is really believing. Thank you for your time today. Welcome to the world of Windows 8. everyone to Surface. And we're here today to talk a little bit about Surface for Windows RT. 
Um, we are, for those of you listening on the webcast, we're in a much more intimate setting, and we're going to be a little bit more casual about today as well. Uh, we, we just shortly introduced the world to Windows 8. And so now we'd like to talk about imagining and reimagining hardware for, your, for Windows RT. We're, we're here in this room to discuss the process and the way and the reasons why we reimagined hardware. And it's been a memorable journey. You know, we decided to do Surface because it's the ultimate expression of a Windows PC for us. It's an extension of Windows. It's a stage for Windows. Yet, it's a beautiful stage. We love the look of it, the feel of it. You know, I, I just have to do this because I love this so much. Hang on. Can I do it again? Do you mind? I just, it, is, it is a wonderful, wonderful experience. You know, and it's great to see some of the first reviews. There's so much passion. There's so much energy about the potential for hardware. You know, in software, we like to say you can do anything. All you're limited by is your creativity and time. You know, hardware, it's such an interesting journey. There are so many choices, so many options, so many ways to consider things, and it's a different process. And everything Microsoft has to offer is coming together here, from Xbox to Office to Surfaces to Skype, all in one place. You know, the Surface team has been reimagining hardware for Windows RT. And in a minute, we'd like you to get a chance to meet the leader of the Surface team, Panos Panay. You know, there's so much passion that Panos and the team bring to Surface. It, it, Passion is just the word that, for me, fits. It fits the product, it fits the team, and it also fits our first commercial. We really wanted to show some of the emotions behind Surface, what it was that we wanted to convey. So before Panos takes the stage, I'd like to introduce you to the, the feeling of Surface. Super cool. I love, I love that commercial. It's something... I adore. Watch it over and over again as many times as you can and just look at those girls and how intense they dance. It's one of my favorite parts of that thing. It really brings out a, a great love for the device. Now, we're going to talk to you about a number of things today. And of course, I'm, I'm representing the entire Surface team up here and I want to walk you through the entire product. So if you bear with me, I'm going to take you through a bunch of stages. I'm going to do a few things I don't normally do. The first one is I'm going to take off touch cover. I don't do this very often, but I'm going to do it here because I do want to talk about the product as a tablet, when Steven talks about it as an extension of Windows 8, when we talk about it as a stage for Windows 8. These are words that we use and choose within our team to really write out the specs as they should be, to work with the software and hardware teams together to pull out everything that is Windows and bring it to the surface of Surface. Oh, it's kind of irony. Now, I'm going to give you a few steps that are pretty important to understand in the device. I'm going to start with, this, with the screen size. Because when you talk about the decisions made for this device, a lot of people ask, why? Why did you pick 10.6 inches of screen? Now, I'm going to walk you through it because it really does illustrate the details that are so important and part of Surface. 10.6 inches. That's diagonal from here to here. It's a clear type display. I'll explain what clear type is in just a few moments, and I'll actually show you some demos running clear type so you can really get a feel for it. But I wanted to talk to you more about the details underneath. With 10.6 inches, a couple things are happening. One, it's the perfect expression of Windows. It's exactly what the software was intended to run on. You can see this when you go into multitasking. I'm going to show you that in just a minute as well. You can be browsing on one side, and on the other side, you can be watching a movie. You can be doing mail and browsing. And what you'll see is within the screen and the way it renders, you get this perfect clarity and beauty because of the clear type display, but more importantly, because of the screen size. Now, that 10.6 inches is unique because it's not one of the standard sizes that you get off any manufacturing line. It's not one of these things that if you just call up and make a phone call, next thing you know, they send you a few panels and they happen to be 10.6 inches. This panel was designed from the ground up in Redmond. There's a team there working very hard. We've got a great display team and they designed it from the ground up. With that and with the vapor mag investment that Microsoft made to encase this product, and hopefully you've seen some reviews that watch quality finish and how beautiful it is to hold, it's a great thing. You put those two things together, and then within it, the components have to fit perfectly. Doesn't really work that way. You have to design this product from the inside out. We spread the batteries perfectly evenly, of course custom batteries. Every component in the product, which we've mentioned before, over 200 custom components built into this product are all here part of Surface just to bring it to life, to make it fit perfectly. Here's the, here's the real question, why? Why spend all that energy, all that time, and all that money to build this thing? Why would you do it that way? Here's why. 
It has to feel great. That's it. It has to feel great when you hold it. It has to feel great when you're holding a tablet. It has to feel light. It has to feel right. That's how we write our specs. We say it that way, and the team builds it that way. So when you're holding it, when you are holding this, you, the moment of inertia, which essentially is the weight that's transferring right here to your wrists, is, is very minimal. As a matter of fact, you can compare it to other tablets out there. Hold this just the way it was meant to be held, and it'll feel lighter than the 1.5 pounds that you're actually holding. Now, as I'm holding it as a tablet, I'm going to show you a few things. And since this, I'm talking about the screen, let's talk about the aspect ratio. This is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. That's important for a couple of reasons, and I'll share that with you. I've opened the kickstand. You may have noticed. Behind the kickstand, if you want to just take a closer look, and I'll show you, this is a micro SD card. We didn't talk about this much before, but I do want to show it to you because it's a really important feature to me. I use it all the time, and here's why. I travel to China quite a bit. On this 64 gigabyte micro SD card, I can store over 40 of my HD movies. On my device, I have another 64 gigabytes. I have 128 gigabytes that I'm holding just right here. I can store, of course, photos or pictures or songs, whatever you choose, whatever's great for you, that stores just this, super fast, pretty seamless. You'll love this. Now, for me, it's important. Here's why. When I'm traveling to China, that 10-hour and 42-minute flight, I can watch five full HD movies right off of this card. That's important. It's important because my library is important to me, and that's what keeps me sane as I'm traveling all the way to China to make sure that our products are coming off the line great. Now, that's for me. Now, here's the great thing. That really is, again, the extension of Windows. The goal of Surface, one of the key goals, was to give you all-day battery life, to be able to give this to you in a way where you can use it the way I use it when I'm traveling to China and not worry about running out of battery ever. As a matter of fact, when I got off the plane, I got off the plane in China, I would land, I'd walk over, sit on my seat, and as I'm sitting on the seat, there's a plug. I plug in Surface. This is another decision for the product that I want to share with you. I want to share it with you because the team spent a lot of time deciding, hey, should we have a slow charging USB? How fast should it charge? What does it feel like when it charges? What gives me the confidence that when I'm using it, when I'm using it, I can still be charging at the same time? How do I know that's going to happen? We left, we left no stone unturned on this. Now, we call it a power supply that charges this thing. It has a unique power magnetic dock. But what you do here in charging is you can play, work, recharge. In that one last layover, within two hours, I was almost at 100% charge, and that was almost at an empty battery, which is just amazing for a product like this when you're using it. Now, I see a few of you looking at me. I want you to play with the device. I'm going to hand this to you. When I hand it to you, just have a moment. Jonathan, it's good to meet you. I'm Panos. Nice to meet you. All right, enjoy that. Okay. All right, so maybe the first thought is you don't watch your movies on, uh, you maybe not, maybe you don't all watch your movies off SD cards, which is cool, because there's this whole thing called Netflix, and there's this other thing called Hulu, and there's a bunch of different reasons to watch movies in different ways, and stuff that you're totally used to, that you already do, that you already do, and I do as well when I'm at home. Now, a couple of cool things. The Wi-Fi in this is the 2x2 two two MIMO antennas. Have you heard of those? Those are exactly designed for Surface. And when I say every component fits in perfectly into this device, it really was designed that way to light this thing up. A great story. I'm going to tell you a great story about wireless really quick, so bear with me. Uh, up on the hotel roof that I'm staying at in New York, this just happened. You go up on that hotel roof and sit down. Try the, I, I don't even know the name of my hotel, so I won't give a plug. But as I'm sitting up there, I'm sitting by the pool, and I'm about to get on my wireless network, and a gentleman comes over who's working around the pool and says, sir, you're not going to be able to actually get connection up here. I want you to move to this other spot, which is interesting. I said, don't worry about it. Just give me the password, and I'll connect. Sure enough, I turned on Surface. Check this out. From a gentleman who was trying to tell me that I'm not going to be able to make a connection to any network, I had five wireless networks pop up on this with four full bars on the network that he thought I wasn't going to be able to get on. That's kind of an illustration, almost a great illustration, just happened to me last night exactly on this device, which is really cool. Wi-Fi performance was critical because if you are going to be streaming these videos, and for me, and for me, I like to use Xbox videos, so I'm going to open that, and you may have heard this earlier. If you are going to stream these videos, you want to be connected at all times. I'm going to stream, I'm going to stream a movie here for you guys. This is uh, The Avengers. You'll take a look. Now, you can't hear it, of course, because I've got the volume turned down, but I do want to talk about the clear type display as I'm doing this since I have it open. A couple of things to notice. A couple of things to notice. One is the contrast. 
the contrast. I'm going to tell you where that comes from. What does contrast mean? The blackers are black and the whiters are white. The colors are more vibrant. Because of the contrast we're able to create with the clear type technology, you'll read some of the reviews and you'll see that. Take, some look, take a look at some of the reviews out there and they'll give you more details so I won't spend a lot of time on it here. The other thing you may have noticed is the lack of reflectivity on this. Now as I'm holding it, it looks probably like a clear picture. And what we've done is we've optically bonded the screen and I'm going to talk about that in just a few minutes. But along with the optical bonding, what we tried to accomplish was we wanted to strengthen the device, but more importantly, reduce the reflectivity for you. Now check out what I'm just doing. What you're going to see behind me is all I did, and you may have heard Steve talk about this earlier. You also heard Julie mention it. Check it out. I just transferred the movie from my device to you through my Xbox using, using Smart Glass with one touch of the button to give you the content that you love right here. Check it out. as I handed out the Surface just so you can play with that. I better stop handing these out because I'm going to run out in a minute. Um, what was happening right there was the content was coming rich as Xbox was pushing to the Surface a ton of content about the actors and a ton of content about the movie itself that you were watching. This is a real life experience that's happening that Xbox and Surface bring together. We talk about, we talk about extending Windows, but really we're extending all of Microsoft and you're going to start to see it. You're going to see it more and more, especially as we go through this. Now I'm going to do just another quick demo for you because you might ask, well, why don't you put music on your SD? Now here's the reason. It's pretty simple. I'm going to open a song for you and I'm going to show you a bit of the same semblance. You heard Julie mention earlier that Xbox music is coming and it comes when you buy your Surface. You get Xbox music with it. Xbox music, this is unlimited streaming of music for you. You can skip as many songs as you want, pick any songs, make your playlist. Just all you have to do is purchase Surface and you get Xbox Music with it. It's just a very cool scenario. What do you think? Here, I'll listen to the music. I got it playing. But I'm going to show you one more thing here. Just take it to the exact same place. So Xbox, Surface coming together. Pretty cool, right? Now check this out. I'm just going to play it right here. And the same idea. As I decide to play it to the screen behind me, this is if I'm at home. Now I don't have a 200 inch screen at home, but you kind of get the point that what I'm able to do here is play it straight to my Xbox and then it comes right to you so you have real content, real content coming to you. Give me a minute, I just pushed the button so you can see it. Now, as it hits the screen behind me, think of this scenario at home. You have a surround sound, you have a stereo system, All right, cool. Okay, so I've gone through a couple of tablet scenarios, and I'm trying to make a point, just a quick one. And the point is, Surface is an amazing tablet. All the trade-offs we made, we made them to make a great tablet. We made a great tablet purposefully. We made it so you can be able to do all the things that I'm showing you here. This is now a gaming scenario that I want to show you, but it's not to show you the game. Now, this is Hydro Thunder. This came out, the minute you buy your Surface, you can go and download this, of course. It's in the, it's in the Windows Store. It's there for you to go ahead and purchase. However, Look at the graphics on this, which are so cool. When Windows talks about reimagining the experience from the chipset to the, to the experience, this is it, just simple. This game itself, this game itself was designed for the chipset it's running on. It's optimized to be performance gaming. It's great graphics because you have the clear type display, and it just starts to bring to life what you can do with it when you're just holding it in your hand with all that little bit of weight that you're holding that I told you about earlier. Now, there's something special about this. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about ClearType. We talked about how we optically bonded it, and we also now should talk a little bit about VaporMag. I'm going to tell you about those two things because they come together in an interesting way to make this a really robust device. We want to make sure that when you buy Surface, you understand how premium it is. We're so excited that we've been able to put all these components together to fit seamlessly together, and every detail in the design is meant to be there for a reason. For the screen itself, I told you earlier, it was optically bonded. Think of it this way. It's fused together with the cover glass and the top screen. It's the thinnest cover glass on any tablet that's being shipped today. And on top of it, it's Gorilla Glass 2.0. So you know it's pretty sturdy. And I'm going to prove that for you in just a minute. But with the vapor mag and the case behind it, 
This vapor mag, we invested in, in China factories. We built out an entire process as Microsoft to make sure we're able to mold the largest pieces of magnesium right out of the factory and make sure we're giving you this watch quality finish on every single device you purchase. Bring those two things together and you want something that when you're paying for it, it really is strong. I'm going to drop this. And so I'll take my time and just slow down. I don't know who's got and You guys started to freak out on me. Like, sit down. I swear it's not going to break. It'll be fine. I'm going to drop it just to show you some of its robustness because I think it's a great thing to just show off both the display and vapor mag coming together and every component designed perfectly within this device to make sure it's not busting. I can drop it again if you want. Check this out. It's still working. There's not even a debate that it wouldn't. How many people drop a machine on stage? Have you ever seen that before? Yeah. I want you to know that everybody told me not to do that, but I got to tell you, it's not going to break. You can drop it in 72 different orientations. If you can find that many orientations, good luck. You could actually drop it 72 different ways, and we do. And we drop them. We drop them until we know how perfect they are, so when you have them, you take them home, you can have every bit of confidence that Surface is going to kick ass for you. Okay? Check this out. This is Surface. Now, one more thing I want to show you. This is just a funny story. That's pretty cool. You'll see the picture behind me in just a minute. That's actually Steven Sanoski. Has anybody seen this picture? That's Steven. I love this picture. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to show you something. Steven's actually standing on a skateboard. I know you're all looking at his helmet right now because it's really big. But stop looking at his helmet and look at his feet for just a minute. He's actually standing on a surface. It's a surface skateboard. We're not selling surface as a skateboard. And Surgeon General warning, like, do not stand on one of these things. You'll break your neck. You have to wear a really big helmet like that one and if you're going to ride it. But turns out, down in the model shop, we were so excited about how much we had built out on this product that the guys had put together literally this skateboard. Wait, wait. The guy, it's my skateboard. Oh, God, ladies and gentlemen, Steven <laughs> Sanofsky. So... <laughs> So these will be at the store tonight? No, they won't be at the store tonight. But, well, we, we, we don't want to use our sources. But actually, it, it's just so incredibly cool, and I do love skateboarding. I wanted to make one point, though, because I got so much mail on this. It was a little weird, a little weird. But there's also, there was nothing else added to this. These are just the trucks on the bottom, and there was no stabilizer bar, nothing added. We literally just bought a skateboard, put them on. Are you are you really holding a skateboard on stage during I, the... I, I, I am, but I, I think we'll just kind of call it a day. Okay. I was going to go try... Right. What, we, you know, but I got those pictures earlier from practice. Maybe we'll share yeah, those later. I, but otherwise, I, we'll just go out to the half-pipe later. Pictures. We'll send them out later today. <laughs> All right. So we talked about Surface as a tablet quite a bit. We talked about it as a tablet quite a bit. Now, I want to talk to you about some of the principles outside of just extending this as a stage for Windows. Something that was really important for us. When we say extending as a stage for Windows, as that we're making Windows great, software coming to the top, yeah, the tablet comes out, but there's so much more. There's so much more. Within the Surface team, we talk about seamless transitions. This is really important. When you purchase Surface, sure, you get a great tablet. You can watch, you can consume, you can see, you can even play. But then it starts to transform itself. But it really can't be a clunky transformation. If you're going to buy this device, it has to be a seamless transformation. How many of you have read about the kickstand? Have you heard about the kickstand? It's right underneath the device. I'm going to share with you a little bit more about it. Now, underneath this kickstand, there are three custom hinges. Each one of those hinges is precisely put in this device for a reason. They're both a balance of making the perfect sound come off the device and the perfect feel. Okay, I use perfect a lot. I've been judged for that many times. Let me qualify that for you. Perfect is by the way we write our specs. We as a Surface team continue to strive to build this product as close to we can to exactly what we meant to do. And the way we talk about our specs is really simple. This spec has to feel like a high-end car door when you open it and when you close it. So you want to do it over and over again. Simple, right? Simple. But if you're designing a product for people, that's how you do it. You design it in the way you want them to feel it. You don't design it in a way that you think it sounds cool or that you have enough metrics in place to measure it, but that it feels right. The visceral response you get when you use the kickstand, critical. But like everything else, why have a kickstand? Let's talk about that. Why? We haven't done this before. I'm going to put this down and show you. Here's why. You have a kickstand, so you can put it down. That seems almost obvious. But 
just in case you didn't know. Now I'm going to launch an app here. This is the camera app, what you see. But what I'm showing you now is you can see how the camera squares right to me. There's a reason for this. Because of the 22 degree angle that we're able to manage through the device and know exactly how you're setting it down, we're able to measure where we want the camera in space to your face. So when you're sitting down and you're having the Skype call that you can see here that I would be having, it's really square and perfect. Now, let me change angles for you. If I switch the camera, take a look at this. I can see all of you. I'm just going to move it here so you can see it. You see this angle of the camera? It's probably clued you up on the screen. Let me just take a look. Not too bad. Notice this. Hey, what's up? And that's cool. All right. Wave your hands for me. I'll record you. Can you guys wave your hands, those of you who don't have cameras? Yeah, cool. So I'm recording you right now. I didn't do anything. I just touched my screen, and it's recording. Pretty cool. What it's done, the decision we made on this, like everything is decision, we've taken a wide-angle lens to the back. But the other thing we've done is we've created the show me scenario. Note, I am pointing right at you. If you looked right at my device, you would think I'd be pointing straight down at the desk. But as I come up, you see that I've moved the camera up just like this, where I'm able to capture the entire room just by setting my device down. So now I'm on a call. Show me what you're looking at. How easy is that? You just flip the screen, and that's what you get. Now I'm going to tell you one more story that's important. And I'll slow down, because this is the most important story for me. I'm a dad. I'm a dad. Some of you might be dads, too. I'm a dad. I'm not going to say I'm a good dad or a bad dad, but I am a dad for sure. I'm also apparently a two-by-four, according to my boss. But I'm also a dad, okay? Now, I have four kids, and it turns out whenever there's a photo of my kids, I'm not in it. That's generally what happens. Does anybody have this feeling in this room? You look at the photos of your vacation, and it's someone else's vacation that you remember? I know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So for me, same thing. But we really wanted to give Surface something else. This is simple. It's, again, back to that same principle. Check this out. My daughter just turned 10 a couple of days ago. We were back in Seattle, and we had a birthday party. Look at the memories I get to create. And instead of being behind the memory, I get to be part of the memory. I'm just going to play this for you so you guys can have a view. Is it OK if I just, you're going to see it if I do that? So check it out. This is recorded on this Surface device. Look at the clarity of that. On this Surface device at my house. Now, note, I'm probably going to come into the screen any minute. Now I'm in the screen. The purpose of this video was to show you what. I kicked out the kickstand. I set it down. I hit record, and I was part of the memory. Now that seems so simple, but to me so important, and hopefully to you too. Now capture your memories with Surface, just set it down and push a button. It's a really cool experience. I hope you like that. That's cool. I think that's cool. You look like you really want a Surface. You know what? Do you, what do you think? You love it? Here, hold that. That's a Surface. <laughs> that's a Surface. Yeah. Welcome to Surface. Thank you. Yeah, you know what? You can keep that. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Enjoy it. Okay, now we're going to get to kind of the brass tacks, the thing I'm most passionate about. So bear with me, and, and we'll get through this one last thing. Let's talk about touch cover. This is where you've heard of it. You certainly saw the commercial where we were showing you how touch cover interacts. When I talk about seamless transitions that the Surface team focused on, so people who buy it can use it, this is where it really comes to life. Of course, Surface is an amazing tablet. You can watch videos on your clear type display. You can listen to music, stream it live from Xbox. You can play games right out of the Windows Store. But what else you can do is get stuff done. So important. When we talk about extending, when we talk, hi. When we talk about extending Windows, when we talk about it, we also talk about extending Office, and we're going to talk about it in just a minute. Really important aspect. But first, let's talk about this. We'll talk about touch cover. Touch cover itself was designed at three millimeters thick. This was really important for this principle. We knew everyone needed a cover for their device. We knew they needed an awesome cover. We didn't want to ship a clunky cover. Cover's pretty important. You put it in your bag, you want your cover to stay on. The other thing we wanted to do, just like the kickstand, was to give anyone who used it a great visceral feeling. So when we designed the connection to this, we designed it for sound. We designed it for confidence. We built a flux fountain of magnets. And I say flux fountain because I'm the first person to say it on stage today. So Stephen usually does, but I beat him to it, OK? The flux fountain of magnets in here, which essentially is a couple of clamping magnets and one alignment magnet on each side of the device, 
where you're able to pull these things together, but then guess what? I can stop and boom, click. It just clicks in. That confidence you get, you can never miss. I don't really have to look. It'll just click in every time. And it'll give you that confidence that once you put it in, you can go get anything done. And guess what? You can. Check out how sturdy it is when I just hold it like this right from the bottom. Yeah. That was important. I talk about in the past how we built this and we designed it and we wrote a spec and here's the spec. It's got to be super thin because people need to use it as a cover. It's got to feel like a book because we want it to be organic. It's like something you've always touched, something you've always held. If you're a student, you put it in your hand, under your fingers, it feels like the spine of a book. When you open it, it feels like you've opened a book. And when you open a book, you can read. And when you're on surface, you're just connected. And it's just a great story and feels great. And of course, it'll never come apart. It won't. And when you want it to come apart, the spec is written simple. Hey, if a five-year-old can pull it apart, it's a great story. Now, how do you do that and still balance the strength of what I'm showing you on Touch Cover itself, which is just an amazing story? This is Touch Cover. Welcome to Touch Cover. I'm going to show you what it's used for right now. Now, before you turn on, I'm going to say one more thing. Now, when we started this demo, we talked about a few things. We said, look, we're going to show everybody Surface, and we're going to say, you buy Surface because not only is it a great tablet, but it does everything you want your laptop to do. In other words, you get stuff done, the stuff you want to get done, and still have the fun you want to have. We believe that. We know that. Here's how I know. Check this out. In the back of the room, go ahead and look back. Don, are you back there? He's standing up. See Don waving? Don actually right now is using Excel as a call sheet for this audience right now. We're running this entire show off of Don's call sheet, running Excel on Surface. Check it out. He's using Surface. In the back, this entire projection and all the lighting is controlled by one device right now. All of it. It's being running. It's running PowerPoint right here on this screen, and it's doing wireless signals to dim the lights. I asked for the controls so I can show that off, but they said no way. They're not giving up their devices. But this is an important thing to understand. We're running Excel and PowerPoint right now. Let me make the Uber point. When you purchase Surface, of course you get Office with it. You get Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and OneNote. I'm showing you Excel. I'm running PowerPoint. Let me show you some OneNote stuff. Come over here with me. We'll just bring up this camera. Now check this out. I'm going to bring a couple of things together for you. And I'm going to do two things at the same time, just so you all can see it, OK? Check this out. I'm opening OneNote. And in OneNote, I'm going to type. Now, a lot of people have asked, well, do you use Touch Cover? What happens? Look, when we designed Touch Cover, we knew we had to take this. You see these? This is your traditional wired mouse and keyboard. We had to create this. They look very different. But guess what? They work the same. Careful, I don't want to hit you. There you go. Three millimeters thin, has a trackpad, has a pressure sensing keyboard. The reason you need a pressure sensing keyboard and not some capacitive thing is so I can set all my hands down just for you. Put my hands down and here I am, no keys striking because I'm choosing not to type yet. Why is this important? It's important because if you need to find your home position and it'll take you four or five days to get really comfortable, there's a slight curve, but once you get comfortable with touch cover, you will be typing. Now, I type about 50, uh, 64 words per minute. Now, it's really kind of nerve-wracking to type and talk at the same time. But in, I'll just say what I'm... Now, you can see me typing pretty quick. Now, that's pretty good, right? I'm here typing and talking to you, and you can see I use Touch Cover every day. I can't really see anyone using Touch Cover without Surface. There's a bunch of reasons for that, and I'm going to show you in just a second one more time. But take a look. My hands are down in typing. But I'm going to show you what I meant to say just a couple of minutes ago, and I'm going to show you now. So when I say I was going to do two things at once, check this out. Now, this is rude. It's pointing at me. But I'm going to take that same camera and point it at you. Do you see on the left? I've opened the camera app. I'm going to do nothing more than touch the screen so it's recording. Now, check this out. Yeah, wave your hands. Cool. Wave your hands so you know it's recording. That'd be really helpful for me to just show this to you. Now, I can type, of course, while I'm recording. What is this? Why does it matter? Because I've angled the product exactly at 22 degrees, so you guys have surface. So we are using surface this way. And the camera is angled up. I can capture the entire room. If I'm a student in a lecture, I can capture my moment as my professor is speaking and I'm taking my notes. Right now I'm recording 
and taking notes at the same time. If I'm in a meeting, which I do often, I open Surface and I just record across the table and all of you can, and I can see what I'm recorded and I can go refer back to my notes and I learn so much more. Now check this out. I'm pausing the video. Now this is Windows coming to life through Surface, exactly what we talked about. We really wanted to bring Windows at, and make Surface a stage for it. Well, check it out. This is multitasking on Windows real time. If I just open up the camera, that's you. I'm just going to go back to where I was and I'm going to play this video. Now, now you'll know it's real because you guys are all waving your hands. You're not waving them now. Look, it's not like a trick. Now I'm recording it. Everybody's waving. I can watch my video, but look how easy this is. I'm just going to touch OneNote, which is over here still as I'm multitasking. Boom. Check it out. I'm still watching my video and my notes are back and I can read them and learn at the same time. Pretty cool, right? Now the thing with touch cover, which I want to explain, I said I never want to take touch cover off, and I really don't, and here's the reason. Touch cover is smart enough that when I fold it back, it just turns off. This product was designed so when you do fold it back, it feels great in your hands. This is a mode that was so important. But then my kids, when they're watching a movie and touch cover's on like this and they're holding it, but they want to set it down and the kickstand now can't come out, what do you do? Do you fold the keyboard forward and go to produce something? Well, it doesn't even have to be that complicated. Check it out. I'll sit here for you and just show you. This is what my kids do at home. They just kick out the kickstand and they put it right there on touch cover. And they just sit and watch and play and do all the things they want to do comfortably. As a matter of fact, when I'm cooking on my countertop and just a hobby where we sit there and cook, I open my cookbook app right out of the Windows Store and I start using that, just setting it down and doing recipes, which is just pretty cool. And then when you want those seamless transitions, they just happen just like that. Now, uh, that was cool. Thank you. I like whistling. Okay. I, I'm going to introduce you to somebody. We're pretty lucky today. We have uh, Annie Wang with us. Annie Wang's a uh, recent Harvard student. Is that right? Yep. Do you want to just introduce yourself? Sure. So I'm the co-founder of HerCampus.com, which is the number one online community for college women. Cool. And what are you doing here today? Can you just tell us? Yeah. So I'm actually writing a blog post for okay. HerCampus using Word um, on this whole experience and how Surface is going to be a great device for college students. I love that. How long have you had your Surface? I'm just curious. Uh, for about four days. Four days. So Annie's had her Surface for four days. How do you like it? I love it. Awesome. I love <laughs> it too. Come with me. I want to show you something. Awesome. Come up. You guys, Annie, please. So if you don't mind, if you just set, if you set it down here, which okay. would be super cool. And we'll just take a look at what Annie's working on. Annie, do you want to show us? Yeah. So. I'm writing this blog post in Word um, for her campus. Awesome. And, I yeah. know why I love that, because now we've done PowerPoint, Excel, OneNote, and Word right here on the stage during this Surface presentation. How awesome, awesome is that? <laughs> hey, Steven. But even cooler, I was taking some pictures before, so okay. I, I have an idea. Why don't um, you take these pictures and post them on the blog? Maybe I'll tweet a few of them, too. And so why don't you show us how yeah, that would happen? Yeah, sounds good. So what she's doing is plugging in a uh, digital camera through USB and the pictures are just going to load and using all the built-in photos app and they're just right there and that's just the power of the USB port which I just I love the USB port because I, I love it I charge my phone by it I do all, here's the thing that I did with the USB port I was in the airport in China somehow yesterday or something <laughs> and um, hours ago. and I wanted to print out my boarding pass and the hotel room had a printer in it I'd never seen the printer before. You know, there's like this stack of driver CDs next to it and all this other stuff. And I said, well, I'll just pop in my USB cable. And pr there I was, just printing my boarding pass. Because like I said earlier, you know, 100% of the top selling printers all work with USB. Over 420 million existing devices will just plug right into Surface. And so that is really tapping into the power of a USB port and the power of the overall Windows ecosystem. I love that. And I also think it talks very well to the fact that we made some clear decisions on this product to bring it to life, to bring Windows to life. And USB is one of those core principles, Stephen. Sure. That's awesome. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Cool. So we're here now, right? Cool. So there you have it. Yeah. Pretty darn cool. So thanks so much. You're welcome. Like, what an awesome introduction. Yeah, you know? thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks a lot. I, this is such, it's such a wonderful time to be able to represent the team here today. The, the thing that I'm most intrigued by 
it is just what everybody wants to call it. Like, we think you should just call it Surface. But the idea of, is it a tablet, is it a laptop, what column does it go in, what do we do? It, you know, it sounds like an 18-year-old arguing over, is it ska or reggae or punk or whatever. And so, for me, Surface, it, it's not just a tablet, but it's actually the best tablet that I've ever used. It's also not just a laptop, but it's the best laptop I've ever used as well. And so you can see some of these comments from reviewers who, who have really experienced it, and there's so much passion. You know, it's, it's the hard, a hardware success. It's one of the best I've seen on the tablets and the screen. You know, it has the potential to change how we use our devices. These comments are just amazing. It has ports and jacks that, that other device owners can only dream about. And, you know, I, the, even the, the USB port, it's such a magical moment when you plug things in. Um, it, you, know, I, you know, one person called it historic, unique. Uh, like that, it, it is such a big moment for all of the folks on the team and all the folks that have worked so hard to bring it to market. So tonight, um, Surface will be available. It's starting at $499 for the 32 gig version. And we think that that's a pretty darn good price because, you know, it's twice the amount of storage as a competing tablet for the same price. It's available in eight markets, but you can also head over to Times Square and buy one tonight. And we're very excited about that, starting at about 10 p.m. Tomorrow, there are over 60 Microsoft stores in North America where you can experience Surface firsthand, or you can go onto Microsoft.com and buy one. We're very, very excited to share this moment with you today. It's the reimagining of hardware and software together. Thank you very much, everybody.